Greetings and welcome to episode 2 of my modded Factorio playthrough. On this episode we're going to implement some burner assemblers and inserters to get a small amount of automation going. Enjoy! Oh yeah, it's, a, it's cool how they have the the 1.1 has the glowing icons to show you what you did, what you unlocked. So this is the steam powered inserters. Um, I tried that, that's part of Bob's. I didn't really like them because it's kind of weird going from coal burning to steam powered to electric. It's like two stages that are essentially the same thing. So I prefer just to go from burner to electric. Um, but for some reason you can't disable it or it shows up anyway. So just ignore that. So each inserter it requires four plates. So let's get this set up to be automatic. there. some boxes first because the resources that are going to come out of this are going to be stone and crushed sapphire so we need to have a buffer box to absorb the stone let's grab some more coal hey I think the sun's gonna start coming up soon Finally. Hey, hey, you can kind of see again. Oh yeah, they steal the coal. From over here. It's kind of neat how they do that. It's also kind of weird. Okay. And then we'll just use this as the chest. And there it goes. daytime. So one other advantage to having those long nights is Rampant has a nocturnal mode, I believe it's Rampant, which will basically make it so biters attack only at night, so they like sleep during the daytime, or at least they won't attack you. So that makes nights extra scary. So the reason why I have uh, two inserters here is because we need two in order to keep this going. We only need one for the furnace, but we need two because we have to get this crushed stone out of here, otherwise it would clog up. And since they're not filter and we can't control which side they go into, we need to have these two as well. That is an automatic system for handling that. So we can do the same thing up here. That right there. Now this isn't a balanced setup in any sort of way. You can see that uh, everything's running at its own pace. That is by design. This is just an automatic 
system here so we don't have to keep picking things up all the time. Not necessarily something that's balanced. We'll get to that later when we have electricity and actually care about what the proper ratio is for everything. Okay. And that system is going. And uh, if it ever clogs up, we can just take out the crushed stone out of here and keep it clean. Not that it really matters, it shouldn't really cause much of a problem. And we'll leave that right there for now. Hmm. I'll throw all the stone in there. Okay, one other thing we can do is automate the building of science as well. So, let's take that in. I've been ignoring the resources inside the crash ship here, but let's grab a little bit of it. Let's grab the burner assembler. And some of this other stuff here. It's really not that much, but I like to start from nothing. Nicole, did I not put anything in there? see. Let's get a second one of these going. Boom. Oh yeah, that's another thing we can do is set these up to be automatically fueling. Uh, you can just kind of stick them pointed into each other, but that always seems kind of unrealistic to me and just weird. I know it's just a video game, but <laughs> it just looks weird to me. So we can do this with an inserter. Customizable Bob's inserter. Pick up from the right, and then drop up top, and then point it up. And now they're self feeling. At least those ones, anyway. You can see how the system is, uh, at least this side is balanced pretty well, so there's no buildup of ore. And I guess not on this side either, so, uh-oh. Okay. Um, let's move this. Put it right there. Experiments in there. Put that there. Let's see, to build that. Stone. Good thing we made more. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's automate the stone part as well. Put that right there. And... Coal. 
Okay. There we go. Put the crushed stone into there. Bricks will come out the other end. I like how the burner assemblers kind of glow. Those look really neat at night, too. Okay, put one over here. Over here, well, I guess we maybe put them up top. I'm trying to line them up for the purposes of feeding them ore from a belt, or coal from a belt later. So... Let's just do stone crate on that side, which... Grab some of that, don't want to do all of it. And then the burnable mixture on this side. Let's get a reasonable amount of wood to put in there. How about like a hundred pieces? I like these pretty ground textures. Much better than the ancient version I was playing on before. Okay. Um, for this... I'm just gonna take those out for now. I want to load up on crushed sap right there, so. so there's some wood. This one gets a bunch of crushed stone. Just those. So I don't want it using the product. <laughs> Bad inserter. Bad. Okay. Well, almost. Once the inserters are fueled. When you're putting coal on all these inserters, you very quickly start running out of coal. Should be all automated so let's get some belts that'll make things easier at least with the coal we can move all the coal around automatically you know the sun's gonna start going down soon Walt, walt. i was thinking if i should build some weapons probably not quite yet well the pistol wouldn't cost that much They've also got this little dart gun. It's weird. Since it's, neither of them are really unlocked by any research, I don't know why you'd build that one, but there it is if you'd want to. So if the fighters attack, we have some defenses. 
Which they may want to. They'll randomly attack you. For like, chopping down trees and stuff if they're close. So you can't completely ignore the fact that they're out there. See, before the stun, sun starts going down, which is going to be imminent, can chop up some of this wreckage here. I think AI adds this, where you can mine the individual pieces of the wreck, not just open containers and get little bits of stuff. Also, uh, we've unlocked some flares. Night is going to be just a little brighter now. Flare works. It's pretty neat. It'll last for a few hours. So at least you can kind of see what you're doing. Good enough. I'll leave the main wreck there for now. That's the end of this episode. On the next one, we're going to use belts and Helmod to plan a little expansion to our resource production. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.